The 1930s and 1940s Germany was a turbulent period, marked by technological advances and painful conflicts. In this context, Wernher von Braun, a highly talented young engineer, became involved in the German Army's rocket program. His technical brilliance and ability to lead teams quickly positioned him as a central figure in the development of long-range rockets. Under his leadership, his team succeeded in creating the V-2, a weapon of great impact during World War II. Although the V-2 was a controversial creation due to its military use and the harsh conditions of its production, it also represented a significant technological advance, demonstrating the potential of rockets to reach previously unthinkable heights and distances. At the end of World War II, and faced with the uncertainty of the future, von Braun made a crucial decision. Along with a group of collaborators, he surrendered to the American forces, hoping that the United States would offer him the opportunity to pursue his dream of space exploration. Thus, he moved to the United States as part of Operation Paperclip, a program that recruited German scientists for American projects. In the United States, his vision broadened. Initially, he worked on the development of ballistic missiles for the military. However, his true ambition was to use rocket technology for peaceful purposes, space exploration. With the creation of NASA in 1958, von Braun found the ideal environment to realize his dream. He led the team responsible for developing the Saturn V rocket, a towering behemoth, the most powerful rocket ever built. The Saturn V was the backbone of the Apollo program, whose goal was to land humans on the moon. On July 20, 1969, the world watched in anticipation as Neil Armstrong took the first step on the lunar surface, an achievement that epitomized von Braun's vision and leadership. His ability to overcome technical challenges, overcome obstacles, and transform a dream into reality established him as a pioneer of the space age.